And following Biden's endorsement, Kamala Harris could be setting off on a path to become the first black woman and Asian American to lead the ticket of a major political party. I spoke with women of color political leaders in our area who were also the first in some of their roles about the significance of this moment. Our President Joe Biden fights for the American people. Vice President Kamala Harris speaking publicly for the first time. One day after receiving President Joe Biden's endorsement after he dropped out of the presidential race, meaning Harris, the first female vice president, could become the first black woman and first Asian American to become a major party's presidential nominee. I could show my daughters that anything is possible in this country of the United States and that, you know, although there's a lot of systems that were created to keep us down, we can break the glass ceiling every single time. Assemblywoman Mikael Solage is the first person of Haitian descent to be elected into the New York State Legislature and serves as chair of the New York State Black, Puerto Rican, Hispanic and Asian Legislative Caucus. She's also a DNC delegate. After trailblazing her own political path, she says the country is ready for someone like Harris, but that there's a long road ahead. The work is not done. And, you know, all the delegates still have to get together and they have to nominate. It's all about moving forward in the convention as a unified front which I believe we're going to be unified in the next couple of days. Dr. Carolyn McLaughlin was the first African-American president of the Albany Common Council and is currently a county legislator and chair of the Legislative Black Caucus. McLaughlin says the significance of the moment is not lost on her. She understands that this is not going to be an easy ride for her. It's about the future of this country. We have to fight. We have to make sure people understand what they are voting for so that they do not stay home. While well, Wanda Willingham serves as the deputy chair of the Albany County Legislature and is a founding member of the Legislative Black Caucus, she feels having a diverse candidate may draw in those who were previously considering other options. It's those undecideds that are really going to carry this election. All three say regardless of political affiliation, they hope black and brown girls everywhere are inspired to follow their own dreams, even if they haven't seen someone that looks like them do it before. You can do anything. And it's not just political leaders in Albany. Attorney, Attorney General Tish James announcing that she's now leading a coalition of black AGs across the country to endorse Harris, saying in part, there is no one more qualified to lead and continue to uphold the values of our nation.